Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all well. I just wanted to make a video on X-ray searching, how to do it correctly, and how to actually find candidates that are open to new opportunities rather than talking to candidates that are very happy in their job or passive job seekers. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to actually do it effectively. And I'm also gonna show you live demonstrations as if I was doing it. So just to make things fun and interesting, we're gonna type in something like the most, most sorts after job titles see if anything comes up and just to make things fun we're going to see if we can find any of these so solutions architect I do not know what that is so let's go in indeed and let's have a look no thank you solutions architect so there are obviously quite a few number of positions for that um, if it's really sought after, you can probably approach some of these companies um, with, you know, a particular candidate. So what we're going to do is we're going to search Solutions Architect. We're going to search in the United Kingdom. You can do it for any country. So this is the job title that they will have in a LinkedIn profile. And we're going to have a look at what we're going to do is search open to new. So that's all you need to search. You can put opportunities, but sometimes some people put open to new job. So I'm going to click that and search and it's going to open a tab in Google and what this does it pulls out anyone that's you know looking for a new position right now that is you know with that particular job title you can do a number of different strings so if you're looking for someone that has is a solutions architect but they need something else I don't know like a particular skill like they need to be good at payroll for example that probably wouldn't collate but you can add that in as well or you can put and so it only shows you those people with that particular skill set or if they're open to new opportunities. I like the open to new as in open to new opportunities because it's it shows you people that are actually looking at the moment. So another thing you'd put in is obviously exact location. So this person is obviously looking for a new position um, they're open to new roles, fantastic experience you'd love to have obviously have a chat with him so what you can do is obviously connect with him I've logged out so you know I don't show everyone's picture in here but what you could do with this is you can check indeed and you can search bath see if there's any positions likelihood is this gentleman or lady has obviously applied for a lot of positions so calling these type of companies and or emailing them and saying look I've got a fantastic you know amount of candidates that I've searched I mean, there's 1,500 come up and you can literally go through all of these, see if you can sort of, you know, spec out candidates and you can say, look, Mark, I work with a number of companies. Um, would you be interested in, you know, discussing or pursuing any opportunity I had? Get to know their sort of, you know, how can I put it, what they're looking for. So I'm guessing average salary is probably about 400. So I want to see as well how many agencies out of these 85 are actually you know looking for people at the moment so this is including employers and agencies so if we filter out recruitment agencies it will give us a good idea of how many people so a lot of the companies are recruiting themselves I'm guessing because it's quite hard to sort on this type of salary on a contract work it would be quite difficult to find um, people for so you're looking at probably about 60 to 80 K um, 400 to 800 maybe in salary I mean that's an apprenticeship sorry um, per week but you're looking at probably a very good contract position if you can get someone in there at that sort of salary so let's go after another one machine learning engineer actually I want project manager product manager because I want something a bit more higher volume and I've recruited for these types of positions so we want to see how many is there so there's 23,000 so I'm guessing this is very geared towards food production is what I you know looked for when I was recruiting for project product managers and we can do the same thing so just to give you an idea of numbers we've got 1,500 people came up with open to new opportunities so we want to do that again and we want to see a more higher volume so this gives you an idea of you know we've got much more than that we've got five times and these people are as you can see open to new opportunities open to new opportunities so these people are on the job market right now it's a lot of people make the mistake of going on here searching project manager or product manager searching and you're blindly emailing these people that are very happy in their position at the moment 
you waste so much time doing that whereas these 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 people will show up because they're working for big known companies and they're ranking quite high so John Lewis Facebook people will go through the first you know three or four pages and then suddenly they say oh no one got back to me or no one connected with me correctly so what you can do is you can connect with them send a note to them and say look I'm recruiting for this position now if you've got a particular position and you want to recruit for this obviously put the job title in project manager product manager and search your location so London and you can put and open to new so if you've got an actual location I mean there's a lot lot in there that's come up again once again um, open to new opportunities yeah open to new opportunities um, these people might have had this on their profile for a while and haven't looked but nine times out of ten you will find candidates you're looking for so forget all the CV databases forget you know paying actually for LinkedIn because this does better than actually paying for LinkedIn LinkedIn will hide a, or the make you pay for this type of information x-ray search is free it's very easy to do all you need is a LinkedIn account and you know an x-ray search which I can you know do it's recruiting without the G dot net and yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell so if you are struggling with candidates if you've got a particular position you, you are at some point you're gonna have and you're like oh I can't fill it you're gonna remember this video hopefully and you're gonna look back and you're gonna say wow CADS made me 10 grand that month so let me know what you think get on it build your candidate pool with this technique as well and obviously obviously make those placements out there